Oh, a transgender influencer named Sean Altman, who you can see is a biological male, identifies as gender fluid, created a promotional TikTok video for Disney Style. It's the company's social media brand promoting Disney-themed clothing, makeup, and accessories. Let's get dressed. Today, we're looking at the most iconic friend group, Disney's Mickey and Friends. And the character most like me is Minnie Mouse. And I have the most perfect dress to start the look. It even has little Mickeys on it. And I love how bold of a red it is. It's just like Minnie. I'm thinking of layering a fun collar like this one just to give it a little more flair. But now I feel like mm. the dress needs more shape. So let's add this white petticoat under it. It's so fun to move in, and I love how it peeks out at the bottom. And to add even more shape, this belt should do the trick. Now for hair, I'm thinking of doing space buns. So let's pull out my hair donuts, and just like that, it kind of looks like I have mini ears. And Minnie wears gloves, so I need gloves. I'm also going to add this watch with Minnie and all her friends on it. It's so cute. But now, to be as bold as Minnie... I need a bold red lip. It's a classic and it's so pretty. Now let's add some black tights and pull out the iconic yellow pump. I'm just like Minnie Mouse. But wait, something's missing. I know. How could I forget? A giant red bow, the biggest fashion statement. And now the look is complete. I literally look like Minnie Mouse and I fit in perfectly with Mickey and his friends. The bow with the dress and the shoes really sealed the deal. Now I'm fashionable, bold, and fun, just like Minnie Mouse. No. Just no. Just no. Disney obviously doesn't care that they're losing customers. They're getting pushback. Um, I mean, in, in the last several animated features, they've lost hundreds of millions of dollars at the box office. Um, they don't care. And they're they're offending people, it's, and there we go. It's we becoming did a story on this a couple yes, months ago. It's becoming more aggressive. This is the bibbity bobbity boutique. <laughs> where they had a man dressed as one of the like helpers for the little girls to go get dressed up as a princess. I remember that. It's becoming more aggressive. It, it, I mean, even now, we think back to Lightyear when they decided to, ooh, we have a gay character or the first lesbian kiss or whatever it was. Oh, okay. We're already to the trans stuff. We're already yeah. to men dressing as women and, yep. and thinking that they should influence little girls and boys to you know dress as however you want and do all these things and... You can be whatever gender you want. Like, it's full steam ahead, and uh, that's not the train that Disney intended to have. If you know, Cor I think about Disney. Walt well, Disney loved trains. Yeah, corporate wokeness, um, they, they're leading the way. I mean, in Disney, Target, Starbucks, some of these other companies. But this is sad because what they're doing, it, it, it's nothing. No, I mean, I, mean it, what, I should say what Bud Light did pales in comparison. They're marketing a beer, they can do whatever they want, to adults. Disney is targeting children.